good morning guys welcome back to Slovenia as you'll be able to tell from them opening few shots I am now in Lake Bohinj I know you're not actually supposed to pronounce the J but I do it every time today I'm gonna to be doing a hike the original plan was to actually do a hike that's called the Valley of Seven Lakes hike I believe but it takes like 10 to 11 hours and in this heat I am not doing that alone it's probably best to do something like that in spring or autumn when there's a couple of people so I'm gonna do a smaller hike instead maybe three four hours I've done it before in the past it's to a gorge and a waterfall should be good got about 20 30 minutes to actually get to the start of it the one thing I've actually noticed already even from just getting off the bus well actually even before like just getting on the bus when I was here two years ago granted it was in the April so it's a bit quieter naturally the bus was always empty and the whole area was it was quite quiet for the most part but this place deserves the tourism the lake is amazing obviously it's bigger than Lake Bled but there wasn't like many accommodation there wasn't much restaurants bars anything like that it's grew so much commercially it's nice to see it's getting the recognition it deserves Great start to the hike. I've officially gone the wrong way. I think I'm on the right path now, but last time I was here I definitely didn't pass through the car park. But this looks about right. I'm sure I'll find out in about five minutes. It's quite easy to figure out if you're on the right path. If you're not walking next to a load of water, you're definitely not on the right path. Thankfully I can now hear the water. Can't quite see it, but at least I know I'm on the right path. I think where I went wrong is last time I'd done this, I was on the other side of the water. It kind of threw me off slightly, but at least I know I'm going in the right direction anyway. Yeah, I definitely realise where I've gone wrong now. This was the path that I took last time. It kind of meets in the middle with the path over here, which is the one I've just taken now. But at least I know I'm on the right track anyway. It's nice to see that the price to enter has actually stayed the same. It was three euros last time I was here. It's three euros till you just pay some guy up here. Even that back there shows just how much more popular this place has got since I was last here. Last time you literally just paid some random guy who was just standing there telling you you had to pay him to get through. And now there's actually a woman with a kiosk, so at least it feels a bit more official. ever here doing this hike you don't have to worry about the weather with this part of the hike there's like two parts to it the first one being with the gorge it's literally under a wooded area so sunny like it is today your shades then if it's raining you're pretty much covered it's when you get to the second part of the hike where you reach like it's like a restaurant slash hotel I do think it might be just basically a hut in the middle of a field after then the hike is to the waterfall but it's pretty much in the open so if it is warmer for training, you'll probably get caught out there. I'll see how long it takes me to get to that hut and what time it is then to see whether we do the second bar to the hike. Fingers crossed we've got plenty of time to do so. I think I've definitely seen more people in like this past like 100 meters than I did in the entire time I was here last time. I think from getting the bus and getting to Bohinge and then even around the lake and then that entire trek, I've probably only seen like 50 people last time. Whereas even at the lake you would have seen before. This place is packed now, which is great to see. You know, obviously Bled is the big draw to most tourists. It's got the island, it's easier to get to. But this place really does deserve a lot more recognition. literally just spent like half an hour trying to get one photo. I think I got it in the end. Hopefully. So 
this is definitely the quieter part of the hike because it's slightly more challenging and don't be put off by people with, like trekking poles and all that they're just taking precaution which is advisable it's safe but it's not that difficult you know just walk past like a group of four or five people they all had jeans on and there's a dog with them so it's very much doable but not everyone comes out this far because you've seen the majority of the gorge back there got your photos hiked an hour an hour and a half and then most people head back but there's definitely much more to see if you carry on and it's quieter so there's two benefits straight away nearly at the waterfall now I think about five minutes can't quite hear it yet but from last time I know it's kind of just around this corner thankfully the sun has gone in as well slightly behind some clouds because this was the part of the hike I was on about before where if you're out in the open and it's sunny or raining you'd be caught out I'm sure living out here would be amazing but wouldn't have be a trek if you just wanted to nip around the Asda or something like that you could drive, sure, but even that would be a bit of an inconvenience, especially at night time and there's no lights around there. Or you could do an hour and a half, two hour trek just to go to the supermarket. As I say, I'm sure it would be nice, but it would be very, very inconvenient. Final climb to the top, to the waterfall. That was 100% worth the hike here again. I just looked at the time. I think it's taken me around two and a half, two hours 45, which is much, much longer than what it says online and what most people do it in, but that's because I stop every five minutes to take a video or a photo. So on the way back, as it is really warm now, I could do with more food. I've got some on me and obviously a lot of water. I'm just gonna head straight back. No photos, no videos on the way back and see how long it would actually take. I believe it was around an hour and 20, an hour and 30. So that's where I'm going now. The next you should see of me, unless anything happens, is when I'm back by Lake Boeing. So it's been an hour and 20 minutes exactly from the waterfall to now where you can see I'm back on the road about 10 minutes away from the lake. Slight issue I might have when I get back to the lake is the bus is back to Bledon only every hour. I just have a feeling I'm going to have missed one by five minutes. Hopefully it's the opposite and it comes in five minutes. I'll sit down for five minutes and straighten the bus but that never usually happens. My legs are officially knackered. don't usually like sitting on buses but I can't wait to get on this one.